Hey guys, coming to you from the lair again. I want to show you my World War II memorabilia here. We've got a couple of fantastic rifles. I want to start off first with the 1943 Smith Corona. Beautiful, beautiful rifle. Uh, awesome shooter. Really crisp, really clean, very extremely accurate. I've put rounds downrange with this particular rifle. This is just a fantastic rifle. It's heavy as uh, heavy as heavy could be, but it is absolutely an amazing shooter. Uh, clean, crisp trigger pulls, puts the rounds down range in a very, very tight grouping. Uh, just absolutely fantastic. I cannot brag enough about that gun. We are going to do a uh, standalone for this particular rifle at some point in time. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to get my WW2 stuff out and really kind of walk you guys through it. So that's that's the first thing on the list. We'll we'll kind of touch base with him a little bit later, but he's uh, he's a beaut. I mean, absolutely a beaut. A fantastic clean rifle. I love it. I love playing with this rifle. It's a fun rifle to shoot. Can't brag enough. Now, second rifle, as you all know, what is this? Just by that, you can probably tell. It is probably my most prized possession that I have. Uh, anything really in firearms. This is my 1945, January of 45, M1 Garand, or as a lot of them would say, Garand. It's not Garand. It's pronounced Garand. Everybody calls it Garand. We're just going to say that. It's just a Garand absolutely love this gun this is a fantastic rifle um, I had this rifle rebarreled after it was rebarreled before for the I believe the Korean War or after the Korean War I should say pre-Vietnam or during that Vietnam period in 65 and uh, it, you know it was obviously all shot out they put a 65 barrel on it and there she went. So I happened to run across a guy on eBay who's selling a 1945 barrel. Happened to get lucky. It was a two and two. Uh, and I was just really ecstatic about it. And talked to the guy, got a deal worked out, and, and we got it done. I had a guy here locally where I live rebarrel it. Did a fantastic job. Can't brag enough. So we're also going to have another standalone on that rifle just on its own. And here we have, ooh, what's this? Is it a butter knife? Well, no, it's not really a butter knife, but I think we all know what this is. And we're going to show you here by taking this sheath off. And this is a 1917 cut down SA bayonet. beautiful beautiful bayonet I've never sharpened this I've never touched it I just keep it as clean as I can and oiled up and uh, so obviously she doesn't rust but you can see where, where it's a cut down it's definitely a, a cut down bayonet it's not um, what you would think so obviously these this was particularly on a what that's right a 1903 Springfield that's what it was on but this one obviously uh, continued on in life, was cut down, it was used for the Garands or possibly even the Ot 3 A3s because they will work with both weapons. They're absolutely uh, a must for collectors. You really have to have these things if you want to have a solid collection. I absolutely love it, wouldn't trade it for the world. Now, we're going to get on to the ammo belt. Uh, this has been a, a process in the making. Yeah, this has taken me a long time to get all this stuff together. This is a 1943, if I'm not mistaken, belt. We're going to have to double check on that because I can't even remember. Uh, it's always in here on, yeah, there it is, right there. Yeah, 1943, as you can see. Belt modes. 1943 and as you can see this guy right here this is a med kit and I can't really make out the lettering on that if you guys can it looks like 1951 or something like that doesn't really matter 
Um, I just needed something that was going to to match this particular unit coloring style. And it actually does have the little first aid kit. Packet U.S. Government. Worcester, Massachusetts. Right there. Uh, also, another big must if you're going to have these things in, in the actual condition that they're in. That's one of the things you're going to have to have. Uh, I bought all this stuff locally, believe it or not. Um, this is a Boit. If I remember correctly, this was a 43 or 44. I can't remember which whenever I had bought it uh, for the 45 Colt. I obviously don't have my 45 Colt in there. We're going to do a separate, um, separate video on that. And the canteen, and the canteen is actually 44 and 43, respectively, uh, for the canteen and the cup. It's inside of there. If nobody's ever seen those things, they're pretty darn cool. Uh, we're going to go ahead and sit this down. My apologies for the shaking. And I've actually used this. I know, nuts, crazy, but I've actually used this canteen. And there you go, right there, 1943 for your canteen. If you guys can see it, hopefully you can. If you can, great. There we go. And then 1945. That's I had it wrong. That was a 45 for the canteen cup. It's really difficult to find these things that are 40, you know, 43, 43, 45, 45. As long as I'm within the realm, I'm happy. I mean, this this stuff is ridiculously old. It's getting harder and harder to find by the day. Um, so if you can find it, go for it. I actually have the ammo belt packed with ammunition and clips, and so it's it's fully fully packed and ready to rock and roll. If you were going to go fight some Nazis. But hey guys, this is it. I mean, this is something I've been really excited to show you. We're going to, like I said, work on individual projects of these guns. We'll go a little bit further in detail about their operation, about a little bit about their history and things like that. I mean, there's there's lots of stuff out there that you can that you can find information-wise on any of these guns. Once again, this is a 1943 Op 3A3, and this one is a 1945 Springfield Garand. And these are my pride and joys. So if you get the opportunity, check it out, subscribe, check out some other videos. We're going to have a whole bunch more stuff, like I said, coming soon. There's going to be a multitude of different things that we're going to be putting out there, guys. So I'm really excited to have you on board. If you're watching, click that like button, click that subscribe. And I'll catch you on the flip side. See ya.